beautiful. Give yourselves a round of applause. I hustled my tits out for this shit. <laughs> I sure did. This room is filled with some of the most beautiful women in the world. And you guys are awesome at sex. I'm weird and fucking awkward. Awkward as shit. I can't even give a good hand job. No, it's true. It's weird when you give a hand job. You always got that one arm that you're laying on that I got like a weird lobster claw to kind of grab his dick with. I never know how much pressure to apply. I just sort of squeeze. Sometimes it's almost so hard. It's like a water snake. It's gonna pop out of my fucking hand. <laughs> Eventually, I just look away and I do something that looks like a tricep exercise. And three, and four, feel the shame. Just feel the shame. You guys had the biggest dicks in the whole fucking world, too. Where's Mandingo? Where are you at with your giant fucking cock? Where are you? That is not a dick. That's a dachshund hound. That is big as fuck. <laughs> I'd invite you over, sir, but my apartment has a no pets policy. That is enormous. Lexington Steel, where are you? You have a giant wiener. Yes. <laughs> Jack Napier, I don't want to fuck you guys, but I do want to double dutch with your dicks. Just some of this, some of this. I wish I had a penis. They're awesome. You like your penis, sir? Yeah, you do, you dirty fucking pervert. Yeah, you do. Because it's awesome. Dicks are cool. Here's why. You can chase a lady around the house and just flap that shit back and forth, right? Why don't you ever see that shit in porn? Just a dude just flapping his dick around? Every dude in here, every one of you is a wiener flapper. Every fucking one of you. Yeah, in case you didn't know, there's three kind of wiener flappers, right? Here's your first one. Your first one, that guy, he's a real serious fella. That's your type A personality. That's your up and down dick flapper right there. Just, this guy pays his taxes on time, right? Gets his teeth cleaned regularly. He has a very organized sock drawer. That's who that guy is. <laughs> then there's the helicopter. Who can get that kind of sweet momentum? Who can? All of you. Every dude in here, because you have giant dicks. You can't helicopter with a tiny little wiener. You can't do that shit. That's an Apache that's never going to get off the ground right there. That's who that guy is. That little bugger's a stationary bird. One, one time, I saw this penis. It was so small. I swear to God, it was like a button. I just wanted to push it and hope a gumball popped out of his ass. <laughs> it's it like, ah, I got an orange one that time. That was delicious. No, all guys, guys have no idea, but women talk about dick size all the time. And here's how you know it's a small dick when you're going down on a dude and there's not enough room for the hand-mouth combo, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a pinky has to go up, like you're having high tea with the queen. You're like, mmm, this is delicious. What is this, lemon zinger, cherry blossom, sleepy time? This shit is fucking good right there. Here's my favorite dick flap. Here's my favorite is the side to side, where they just shake that shit at you where you fellas, right? That one is awesome, because your dick just looks like a salmon just fighting upstream, right? Like. Just, I'm gonna get back to my birthplace. That's who that guy is. Yeah. You know what you don't see a lot of in porn? I think this is really strange. You know, you don't see a lot of dudes getting a finger in their ass. Why is that shit? You don't, right? It's, it's weird, because all dudes, you're all afraid. One finger in the butt, that's a slippery slope right to gay town. That's what you're fucking afraid of. That's it. My favorite thing to do is when I'm dating a new dude, I love to walk up behind him on the stairs like, ha ha, right? Just give him a little, <laughs> give him a sweet little jean poker. Just give him a little, da -ka -da -ka -da. and dudes get pissed. They're like, stop it, seriously. Seriously, you know I fucking hate that shit. Yeah, and the more a dude doesn't want me to do it, the rapier I get. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, don't fall asleep. <laughs> this is what you do, ladies, right? If he won't let you stick a finger in his ass, this is what you do, right? You gotta lay low, right? Like two to three months, men forget shit. He'll never remember this conversation happened. 
Two to three months, you get them to let you do it. Not a gay amount, just the first crease. That's all you need, right? Just, just a little dab, just a back a back, right? And then you have to get him to admit that he likes it. Yes. This is key. He's not going to admit it at first. You'll be like, baby, did you, did you like it? He'll be like, whatever. I don't give a shit. Whatever. It's cool. I don't give a shit. You'll be like, no, baby. I love you. I am not going to judge you. <laughs> you got to keep a straight face. You got to sell that shit, right? <laughs> And eventually, yeah, eventually, he'll admit it. He'll be like, yeah, you know what? I kind of liked it a little bit. And that's when you're like, oh my God, you're so fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. I just want to honestly, I honestly want to commend you guys for being so open sexually in a country that's really weird and puritanical about sex. I think it's, so con congratulations for what you do. Most Good for you guys. Most women always lie about the number of partners that they've had, but I refuse to lie. Because I feel like when you lie about something, all it means is that you're ashamed, and all shame does is lower your self-esteem. So that, yes. <laughs> so that's why when my fella asked me how many partners I've had, I told him the truth. I said, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, sweetie, I've been doling out blowjobs like fun size Snickers at Halloween. <laughs> I got no way of keeping track of all the trick or treaters. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I hear it a lot about my act because I do talk about sex. So people always tell me I'm dirty. They're like, oh, you're so dirty. Sex is dirty. I'm like, no, sex isn't dirty. Sex is fun. Sex is adult play. Once you stop playing kickball, yeah, once you stop playing kickball, you start fucking. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's like my Nan always said, an orgy is nothing more than an adult version of Duck Duck Goose. That is all it is. <laughs> Are you guys ready for some porn chicks? Are you guys ready to start the show? Yeah? Yes! Oh, yeah. I just want to let you guys know, both of the ladies hosting with me tonight have award-winning assholes. My ass... My asshole never even won an honorable mention, so... Yeah, I think they should nickname their assholes Kanye West and Russell Crowe. Please give a loud round of applause for Asa Kira and Digital Playground.